Hey, hello! People of Thailand have been dealing with flooding since mid-July. Medicine and other provisions are being sent to the central province of Lop Buri, as it has seen the worst flooding in decades. Apparently one of the most desperately needed items to help the victims of this flooding is condoms. This according to the story that I read. So the local volunteers have stated that the villagers have nothing to do during the flood except each other. So apparently the only way to prevent a baby boom is to provide these people with condoms. I'm sorry, but you can't think of anything better to do than to have sex? How about rebuilding your house or getting a bucket so you can help somebody bail? What did these people do for birth control before the flooding started? And how is it a different situation than now? I have a suggestion. Give yourself a hand before you go over to the neighbors to give them a hand in rebuilding your home. Or how about pulling out? I know it's the old-fashioned way, but it does have a reasonable success rate. Or we could just send them personal massagers and inflatable girlfriends, and that would eliminate all risk of pregnancy. Not to mention the need for all that boring pillow talks after sex. Sorry, honey. I meant someone else. The Kismot restaurant in Scotland decided to stage a curry eating contest in order to raise money for a children's hospice. Now the contestants who entered this contest had to sign a waiver before even being allowed to participate. Turns out for owner Abdul Ali, that ended up being a very smart move on his part. Now the name of the dish to be consumed in the contest is called Kismot Killer. Contestants writhed in agony, panted, and started vomiting as they sampled the spicy grub. One of the contestants was hospitalized not once but twice. A second group of 10 competitors decided to decline participating in the contest after seeing the first group lying on the floor in the fetal position covered in their own vomit and urine. Now first aiders were on hand for this contest. They were overwhelmed by the number of sick diners. Now the owner has conceded that he'll have to cool things down for next year. You think? You know there are ways to test if a dish is too hot. For example if you throw it at an outhouse and it strips off most of the paint it's probably too hot. Now as hot as that stuff is going in I can't imagine what it's going to feel like coming out. When you say burning ring of fire those contestants are going to have to wipe their ass with a snow cone. On a side note being able to eat hot stuff is not a toughness thing. It actually has to to do with taste buds. The fewer taste buds you have, the hotter the food you can tolerate. A seven-year-old boy in Scranton, Pennsylvania was forced to wear a diaper while locked in a coffin as a form of punishment. Now the boy told police that his mother and stepfather would put him in the coffin and tell him that there were ghosts inside and would even rattle chains to scare him. Now, that's what I call quality parenting and we wonder why people grow up to be wife beaters and serial killers. Now I'm not sure what this kid did to merit this punishment but I can tell you it was a little more extreme than the type of punishment I got when I was a kid. Round one usually involved a warning or a stern talking to. Next would come the threat to take away my Nintendo for a day or two and if that failed I might actually even get grounded for a day which is a huge deal for a seven-year-old kid especially if I don't have access to my Nintendo. It's a me Mario! I don't ever remember my punishment going beyond being grounded except for this one time when my sister was sleeping and I really needed to take a poop. Anyway I went into her room and uh nothing. Question of the day is, what is the hottest thing you've ever eaten? For me, I once had wings that were listed on the menu as homicide. After the first wing, my mouth was so numb I could no longer taste the food. After a couple more wings, my lips were vibrating and I was sweating. And if I remember correctly, I think I was also having vision problems. I managed seven wings and then I had to pack it in. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to fave, comment, subscribe, and do a little dance. If you have any questions, leave them below. See you next time. So apparently, the only way to prevent... I know it's the old-fashioned way, did it? I know it is. Now, it turns out for... a.